All right, here's a great illustration of the point. So here's video of the backlight on 16 active zones. You can see as the Roku logo bounces around, you can actually see it go through the zones and the algorithm try to compensate. Now, not only is the, oh, there it got bright. Not only is the Roku logo like severely dimmed and not white, but sometimes as it passes through, you can see the zone borderline. Here, when it bounces in the corner, we might be able to see a better shot of it. It might get bright. I find that in the corners where it might hit two zones at once, it, it does tend to brighten the Roku, uh, the Roku logo up. But here, watch. But you can see, like, this is not, this is not good. And that, my older Vizio TV, I would get a uniformed white Roku logo, but I would get blooming. I don't get much blooming here. But I do get this, which I think is is 10 times as worse. You saw it up there in the corner get much brighter. All right, so here, here's what happens if I turn it off. All right, here it is with it off. You can see now the Roku logo, uh, Roku logo is much brighter. And I'm not getting, of course, any of the, the local dimming uh, or the fading in and out. Of course, now the screen is no longer completely black. If I look at it close enough, I can see that it does have a like grayish, bluish, slight like tinge to it, which means that it's on. Whereas opposed with the local dimming on, when there's no picture, it goes completely black. So the biggest problem I have is not just this, because I could live with a logo bouncing around, but when watching shows where there's lots of like light and dark across a person's face, the TV ten is the TV will add and inject flickers of darkness into the into the look, uh, which is very distracting. Solid color like cartoons, no problem. Just seems to be like so far like high contrast, light and dark areas that are in small spaces, and where there's lots of it going on. So thanks for watching.